house and Uh, you know, 
know, sometimes I wish that I could just take out uh, the, the little mini light that's down inside of me, and I could hold it out, and I can say, you see this right here? Uh, turn the lights out for a minute. You can see it a little better when it's dark. And, you know, I wish I could just show that other family and friends and those that I come in contact with and say, uh, don't you want this down inside of you uh, uh, so that when the trouble sometimes come, uh, uh, when the times come, Brother Mike, uh, uh, may you find yourself uh, uh, falling down upon bending knees saying, Lord, uh, I can't go on no more by myself, God. Uh, it seems like everything uh, is falling apart. That's when I um, seem like that I'm so thankful <coughs> that I have a God that hears my cries. Amen. And he looks down upon me and he has mercy on me. You know, one time the disciples, they met. They met in a little room. Jesus had been crucified and no doubt their faith had been shaken. They had been following this man for three and, three and a half years, brother. No doubt they thought that the kingdom there of, of Jerusalem was all going to be restored by this man. And they found themselves in a little room all gathered together. No doubt they were shaken. And their faith was uh, was all unraveled and they didn't know what was going to go on. And you know, they was all talking one to another there. And, uh, there was a man in there, uh, Brother Thomas. Uh, and he said, unless I see those uh, there holes in his hand, uh, yeah. in the spear, hole in his side, <laughs> uh, then I'll believe. Uh, and you know, it says, uh, that like that, Jesus uh, appeared in that room and he called him out. Uh, and he said, Thomas, uh, come here, Thomas. Uh, put your hand uh, in the hole in my side, Thomas. Uh, fill the hole uh, in my hand, Thomas. Uh, and he said, uh, blessed are you uh, that have uh, seen and believed. Uh, but Thomas, I want to tell you something. Uh, I'm more blessed uh, is those uh, that I have not seen. Uh,